Good afternoon, my fellow Yarnians. It is April 9th, 2020, and I have some yarn to show you. I bought some from Amazon. I got some from Etsy. Like, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been on an Etsy kind of extravaganza, trying to find hand-dyed yarns and just yarns out there, and fibers, too, for spinning. So, I have found, we are going to start with this place called... Sparrows Reach and it is in Calgary, Alberta here in Canada, Ontario and it was actually some nice fiber. Um, roving Merino Wool, super fine 19 micron luxur uh, luxurious Merino ro <laughs> Merino Wool. Uh, in the colorway Sicilian Oranges. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Mad Mimi from Laura or Laura from Mad Mimi. She will love this color. What? Look at that. Oh my God. When I seen this, I was like, no, no, that has got to come home to here in Canada. Well, it was already made in Canada. What am I talking about? Here in my house in Havelock, Ontario. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. It's so beautiful and it's so, so soft. Um, I won't be able to get this on my spin, my spindle. Because I do have some on there right now, and I've only got the one drop spindle, but I do have another one coming in the mail all the way from Russia. It's beautiful. So there was this one, and this cost me $15.65. The delivery was $6.75, which I thought was awesome. So I will be ordering more uh, fibers from Sparrow's Reach. Yeah. Sparrowsreach.etsy.com. So anyways, there's that one. Now, the next one is from a place. I'm not sure if it's here in Canada, Ontario. I looked. Oh, yeah, it says hand dyed in Canada. Okay, so it's from Area 51 Fibers. I found this one from Holly at the Proper, pa Proper Pineapple. I found this site through her. I seen she had posted it on Instagram and that's where I usually see it is on Instagram. So head on over to Instagram if you want to check out some of their yarn. This one was in the colorway Twilight. Oh my God, isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So this one is finger, fingering sock yarn, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. Um, the gauge is eight stitches inches on 2.50 millimeter needles. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so there's this one and there's their logo. And then I ordered uh, a mini sock set from the same place. This was their fingering sock yarn, 80% superwash merino nylon, and 80% nylon, sorry. What? 20% nylon. I need to get new glasses. So anyways, here it is. And this was the colorway Cherry Bomb. If I can remember correctly, I'm just going to grab this piece of paper. Yes. Ch Ch Cherry Bomb uh, Variegated Sock Yarn. It's a yarn set. Dar Daring Duos. So isn't that gorgeous? I think I'm going to actually attempt socks again again but i'm gonna try two at a time socks maybe that'll work out i don't know but at least i'm willing to try again right right so anyways there's that this set cost me 28 dollars and there is what's in here it doesn't say how much how much yarn well, that's strange. I'm guessing, though, 100 grams between the two. So there's those two, and that's from, like I said, from the area 51 Fibers. They have got some gorgeous yarns over there, some really bright, out-of-this-world yarns. Nice. No wonder that uh, Holly from the Proper Pineapple likes them. You know, she likes her bright, pop, popping colors. I'll pronounce it, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. 
I got one more. I ordered from Amazon. I'm really happy with this order. This yarn is gorgeous. So I ordered a five pack of the Gazelle Baby Wool. There's 175 meters, 50 grams in each ball. And yep, there's a five pack. Cost $13 for the whole pack which I don't think is too bad. I really don't. It's wool. Yeah, it's uh, gazelle baby wool. Um, I really love it. I can't wait to uh, work with this. But I got this color here and this beautiful brownish color and this beautiful pink, powder pink. This is probably, this is my favorite, fav favorite color in the whole world, but I like this color. I like teals and I like purples. So we got these three guys all together and I had just, because I was really impressed with this, I had just ordered um, another one of the brown and a, and a black. I'm going to do a sweater, but I want to do a Fair Isle sweater. Yeah, right. I'm going to try it, you guys. You never know, right? And then also while ordering that, I got these little stitch markers from Amazon. Just the, um, what do you call those? The ring markers. Came in this little plastic, uh, little pocket thing here, which is kind of cool. I can reuse it. It's reusable. And then you just got these little teeny weeny little stitch markers there. Boop. If I come up and go back, maybe. Anyways, I really like them. They're really tiny. I do have bigger ones, but I really needed some of the smaller ones for my knitting. So that's that. Now, moving on. What do I got here? What do I got wrote down here? Oh, my Frontline Bear by, I'm assuming the name is Zan Legasto from Yarn It Darn It. It was a free pattern. Here he is. And yes, the, the mask does come off and he's got a cute little smiling face underneath there. Also, the hat comes off too. You can take the hat off. So, I was thinking, I seen somebody else had made a different, a couple of few, or a couple of few, a couple masks, different colors to go with them. And I thought that would be cute too. But this was a really fast and easy pattern. He was actually worked up from the bottom right straight up pretty sure I don't know if the head was separate or not I can't remember now but I know that the arms were just separate pieces to make I think this was all just done in one piece I'm pretty sure oops sorry there flicking his face mask off but that's the frontline bear and I'll put all the information down below in the description and then I've got oh by the way, I should tell you what I used. I used a 3.75 Susan Bates hook. My favorite for Amber Gurumi. I love using that size hook. Um, and I used Bernat Super Saver, which is like a Red Heart Super Saver or whatever, right? All those kinds of cheaper acrylic yarns. So there he is. And then I've got mask extenders. I've been busy, busy, busy. Got these mask extenders I've seen from Bella Coco. And I used my Handmade with Love buttons that I got from Wish. I got a whole package of them last year. This, of course, does go up further, but my little guy doesn't have ears to hold up the things. And this is just a child, a child size mask. But anyways, I had dropped off 10 of these today to a friend of mine who's in the medical uh, field. And she really wanted some, so I made 10 of them last night and dropped them off in her mailbox this morning. So hopefully they work for her, and if she needs more, I will make them free of charge. I mean, I'm not going to charge for uh, workers that are hurting, their poor ears are hurting while they're trying to take care of us, right? So, yep, if she needs more, I will be there to make more. My last thing I want to show you is the yarn I've been spinning. This yarn was from the Bad Habit Wool Company that I had shown in other videos. Here's the one I'm working on now. And here's the... If I get my face out of the way, it might. Come on, focus. 
never wants to focus for me, but that's, I'm really happy with the fact that I'm getting my yarn more consistent instead of big, small, big, small, like I did in the beginning. I'm pretty sure that, and here we go. Here's some of the, my first attempt at spinning. Very first attempt. And then we've got to this which I'm very happy and then I've got one that I was doing a while ago that I've actually got caked up but this one I am going to oops this one I'm going to ply but like I said I've only got the one um I've only got the one spindle so I'll have to wait until I get this off of the spindle or until my other one shows up so yeah this was from bad habit wall company really recommend uh, ordering from there <clears throat> I've already got more coming in the mail of this color because I wanted to make up another whole cake and maybe do a beautiful shawl or something like that so that's what I have to show you today that's what I've been busy doing I'm also working on a sweater but I have already posted that on Instagram and on Facebook and I will show that when it's done I'm down to underneath about here on the waist and down so all I got is that left and then the arms and then I've completed my first knitted sweater guys so excited oh one more thing I wanted to show you I found this little guy when I was out shopping a little while ago when you could still shop look at look at his eyeballs <laughs> isn't he so cute he just sits on a shelf and he's got his gangly legs and his knock knees just like me but yep he's my little lamb that sits there up on my shelf with my subscribe pillow that I made but anyways I hope everybody's doing well um, stay safe stay healthy and until next time I'll see you then bye bye